Christmas, an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, is celebrated among billions of people around the world. This year, Queen Liliana Dibayo and her husband, SDP presidential candidate Prince Dr. Adiwali Adibayo, host Christians at their residence in Ondo City. Ministers at the event says the occasion reminds us that God, in his love for the world, sent his son for redemption of sins and that men can be safe. The reason the significance of this is to showcase the importance of the birth of Jesus Christ, the purpose of coming, what it has come to do. That is the essence of being here tonight. We are celebrating of the born of Christ, Jesus Christ. And that is why we feel to come to our president to be to come and rejoice with him. We are remembering the birth of Christ. And the purpose of Christ's coming is to die for our sins. It's a celebration of uh, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. It's by his, uh, his birth that we have life, salvation, and uh, all that Christianity stands for. Nigerians were again urged to keep hope alive by celebrating the Christmas season with love and sharing. Well, this is the right time for Nigeria to come out of the problem they are in. If they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we've tried all other means, it's not working. But now that means that we have forsaken. If we come to Jesus Christ, he's going to do it, he's going to do it for us. He's done it before. He delivered the, Egypt, uh, the Israelites from the bondage of Egypt. And he considered doing it again to allow the celebration of Christ, Christ Jesus to dwell in them. Because any heart that Christ, Christ dwell will be able to do good, to confess their sin and accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. We yield ourselves in, in love, truth, and uh, adherence to the tenets of uh, Jesus' teachings and uh, sacrifice more for our nation, love our neighbors, fellow Nigerians and do good at all times and believe in this country. While commending his wife for her various contributions over the years, Prince Adiwoli said his wife encourages him to be closer to his native Ndo city. I thank my wife uh, because I was speaking to a friend of mine yesterday. I was passing through their hometown and she's doing very well very successful person. So I know their hometown because I know the father. And I said, I sent her a message, I'm passing through your hometown. She said, oh, really? What are you doing there? I said, I'm coming from Aochi, so I'm passing your hometown. She said, I have never been there before. So if you marry a woman who doesn't allow you to come to your hometown, the children will not come. That's why I'm grateful to my wife for being a true, she's closer to Ondo even than me. And people who know me will know that when I was single, my movement was not regular. But when I got married, my movement became regular. So I thank her for that. So I want to say a big thank you to the church, Apostolic Church. This is a big honor to have you here. This ministration was powerful, very powerful. And um, I was particularly impressed by the students' playlets, which was very inspiring. It tells us that Man don't choose, but God will do the promotion for us. So I am glad that they came out, they presented that playlet the way, you know, we look unto God for the aspiration of my husband. In the program's second segment, a 500-level law student, Damilola Akintiwi, who was invited to Manchester City in the United Kingdom earlier this year, for advocating for the rights of women in Nigeria by a young world ambassador was rewarded with a car gift from Queen Lillian Foundation. Last year, 2021, at a two-month um, ceremony, I 
and I've come now to fulfill the promise 2022. So I hereby present to you this car of the key, which you couldn't find earlier on, to, to you and these papers. So congratulations once again. Safe driving. I don't want to hear a story about this car. This car belongs to you, not to anybody. You will. So please use it well. Congratulations. In 2021, she was the only Nigerian in the top 10 finalists of the inaugural $100,000 Czech Global Student Prize Award out of 3,500 plus applicants from 94 countries. I actually want to thank them because, you know, for someone to make a promise a year ago and to stick to the promise, it speaks a lot to their character. And I am grateful because uh, the recognition was given for something that I do, my academics and extracurricular work, because my work revolves around advocating for women's rights. And I appreciate that because they are actually they're supporting young people who are leading change in their community. The concert organized by Apostolic Faith Church Ondo was enjoyed by parishioners, friends and guests who gave the performers a well-deserved standing ovation following the conclusion of the final numbers, Mary's Boy Child. Angela Daku, reporting Captain TV News.